Pakistan has launched its first mission to the moon, entering the International Space Race for research. The mission has been launched with Chinese assistance from China's Hainan space site. The satellite, weighing about 7 kilograms, has been developed by the Electrical Engineering Department of the Institute of Space Technology IST, in Islamabad. It was developed in two years. The launch of the satellite, iCube Kamar, was telecast live from the website and social media platforms. The Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission Subarco, launched the first satellite into lunar orbit. The iCube Kamar will reach the lunar orbit in five days. With the launch of the mission, Pakistan has become the sixth country in the world to go to the moon. iCube Q has been linked to the Chang'e 6 mission of China. The iCube Q, developed in collaboration with Subarco and Shanghai University of China, will orbit the moon, equipped with two optical cameras to capture images for research purposes. Part of China's sixth lunar exploration mission, Chang'e 6, iCube Q's primary objective aligns with its Chinese counterpart's mission to collect dust and rock samples from the moon's south pole. The mission holds significance for Pakistan as it will also take a Pakistan CubeSat satellite iCube Q, developed by IST. CubeSats are miniature satellites typically characterized by their small size and standardized design. They are constructed in a cubic shape, consisting of modular components that adhere to specific size constraints. The primary purpose of CubeSats is to facilitate scientific research, technology development, and educational initiatives in space exploration. The launch was attended by scientists, diplomats and space agency officials from France, Italy, Pakistan, and the European Space Agency, all of which have moon studying payloads aboard Chang'e 6. Following the launch, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif felicitated the nation and the scientists for launching the first lunar orbit mission, the PM said Pakistani scientists. Engineers and skilled workers are proving their mettle in this field like the expertise they exhibited in nuclear technology.